Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you all methods that allow you to take screenshots on Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus 5G. But first we're gonna go to the settings, and then in the settings we can scroll down to go to additional settings, and then choose a gesture shortcut. Over here we will find two options that are um, essential for us right now. So first one is take a screenshot, where we have the three fingers ge uh, gesture. So we can slide three fingers down like so on the screen in order to capture the screenshot. Or we can do the same thing by pressing the uh, volume down and power button, which is of course this one is volume down and the power button, so let's press both buttons at the same time. And there we go, as you can see we have captured the screenshot. So of course as long as those options are enabled you can use those this gesture or this shortcut in order to capture the full screenshot. Another one is the partial screenshot where with three fingers by pressing and holding three fingers on the screen, we can perform a partial screenshot. So let's do this. Press and hold three fingers, and then you can select the area that you wish to capture. Of course, you can still adjust it. You have the edit option, share, start over, and save. In the top right corner, we have different shapes. So we can create something like this, or just a circle, like that. Once you are done with the screenshot, what you can do is press save over here in the bottom right corner. Now another way to capture a screenshot is by using the control center. So you can swipe from the top towards the bottom on the right side of the phone. And then over here you might be able to find the option that allows you to capture a screenshot, which is this one. But if you don't have it, then you can scroll down in the control center, press edit, and then try to find it in system toggles and then press this check over here in the top right corner in order to save the changes. And there is also one more method that allows you to capture a screenshot and that is by using the quick ball. So you can go to the settings, once again to additional settings, over here you can enable the quick ball and in my case it is located here. By default it is located somewhere over here on the right side, of course you can reposition it but if you open the quick ball you also can find you can also find the screenshot option and there is also an option that allows you to capture a long screenshot which of course is available if the page that you are looking at is scrollable so let's say i'm gonna use the google app as an example because we can scroll over here pretty much endlessly so now we need to capture a screenshot in like a, one of the ways. It cannot be a partial screenshot, it has to be full one. And then we can press scroll over here. And we can keep scrolling to select the end of the screenshot. So let's say we're gonna select something like this. So up to this point I want to capture the screenshot, then I can press done. And as you can see we have captured the whole page. I accidentally even selected something. Yeah, so I made some mistakes here, but essentially uh, you can also make some edits and just save the screenshot if needed. So let me quickly create another one. And let's press done. There we go. Here we have some tools at the bottom and we can save by pressing this check over here in the top right corner. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!